Welcome back to the show. Gamer is very frustrated. That's the name of the show. We just had a crash. Now, we're going to test this here in just a second. We I hit this air map mode and it crashed. Okay. okay, didn't this time. What happens is the more you select units, the more things go, the more unstable this does get. This isn't the stability that we like, but it is a hell of a lot more stability than 10.3 something or other. So it's doing much, much better. So just be wary of that. And I lost only 10 days of gameplay, but it happens to be all of our fall gelb stuff. Yeah, need coke with a volume. Nah, I don't know that we need volume, but just, just need a little bit frustrated. So, um, so it isn't, a, I don't think a specific, now it could be something that was displaying oddly. I don't know. So we're going to do some of this over again. Well, all of this over again. So basically most of last episode, it will be repeated now in this episode. Okay, well, we're going to push here. We're going to lose Totem Cough soon. Mm -hmm. They're coming home. Right. Let's find a okay, reasonably large doom stack. Let's send you and you up to there. I think we'll send one more division that way. Very large doom stack. Let's send another infantry division up that way. God, I hate this. God, I hate this. This big stack of Luxembourg forces. I did not realize just how strong all this was. I saw that I do, you know, what I'm seeing down over here. I did see that. I thought it was a, a brigade, a garrison, a little bit of forces. And then a bunch of, you know, HQ stacked on top of it all the way up to the top level. But there's a hell of a lot there. That just shouldn't be there. Not, none of it should be there. It should be a cakewalk. Okay. Mm. We'll ship one of those divisions down there as well. Shift that to there to replace the one that's moving. Okay, we can slam. Yeah, prepare some food. <laughs> Let's move a few more forces down here. So we're attacking this from more than one direction. Okay, let's move. Your naval striking. We don't want to know about rebasing. I want to know about. Okay, that's too far. So, not enough air bases down here, but we're still going to over. We're going to overstack. You can do so. Just repair is not good. Round attack. 
Uh, okay, we're going to review. Over to here. We're going to use more air. We're going to use air operation. Okay, that should be able to reach. Now I'm going to get some more coke here in a moment. Sorry, guys, watching later. Okay, I'll be right back in just a moment. I'm going to We're going to see if we can do this better this coming episode. Be right back. I'm mostly back. Right, okay. Okay, with more air attacks. I know I'm sounding funny with food in my mouth. Mm. Now we also have some garrison divisions here. We're going to poke one or we'll put one down here. We're going to drop one over here. Skill level only one. Not so great, but maybe defensive. Great. Not cold. We'll use him in the north sometime. Let me swap out. Old guard, maybe preferably. Take care. There we go. Except for the river crossing thing, he is the right type, and we're not going to be pushing across the river garrison division. So we'll go with him. Oh, we have a Panzer Division right down here. Oh, God. Look. You come up there. We don't need you. Wait. Okay. One more piece, and then we'll get the... Uh, Really playing again. Just really frustrated. Not at all, but still. Okay, let's let the clock go a little bit forward. Some of these units into place. Mm. 
Ну, ну, сейчас включу бы внесу. Now let's get them moving a little quicker. Do they take the inside path? There we go. Right. Let's give it a few more days. Get units in better position. They actually look like they're abandoning a monster. Maybe not a bad idea if there was forces behind it. off up there good no you don't need to go there and in fact you can maybe just go straight to there Fuel tank research, which will be grayed out, and we'll go to naval bombers. Okay, now I think we're ready. We will first declare Brit ah, Blitzkrieg. And then we'll declare Fall Guild. Sorry, little countries, you're just in our way. <coughs> if they can support that attack. These guys are going to attack it to there. So you don't want to shift up that way. Attack straight in with you here. Yeah, these have engineers now. Oh, 
Okay, von Block will support whatever attack is made. There. It will attack from here up to there. Now, saving them for slightly later. We're attacking from many different things. Very good, Arno. Thank you. Right. Really? Mm. Okay, start with Schweppenberg, because we want him commanding the attack there. here I'll just send you up this way. Now, other things to do. Set up some air operations. Here. Ground attack. We're going to get that old magnet ground. Teach it who's boss. Even though they have an anti-aircraft gun, we're going to do some ground attack here. Too damn far away. Okay, well, means we're going to have to move you up here. Need more air bases further forward. We're going to hit those pretty hard with air.
Okay, we're gonna add him to the mix now that we have Schreppenberg in command. I hope he stays that way, but and I think we'll also throw in one Monstein here. Where are we how are we doing up here? They're coming in reinforcements there. These guys look like they're fairly well pulling out. Yeah. And also because we did okay. Um you start heading this way. You head up that way. You head towards Oslo. Go. Just want to make sure you were in command so you started the attack, but we have some regular divisions. Okay, we've won there. Won there. There. Let's start this division moving this way. You guys come back over to here. Is I'm going to make sure we're flying supplies, air supply, right into there right now. Okay, yes, we knew this happened before. Let's come over here and stop that. And I think, um, I don't know, designs is what we want to do. And yes, we will upgrade Totenkopf. But here again, yes. And I okay. care. Rotten bastard. Just because I want these guys to be remembered doesn't mean I think they're good guys. You can be evil, evil bastards. Okay, grand battle plan, whatever. Okay, we've won. Okay, you can start walking back into the line. Hopefully that bombing is helping. Well, I'm sure it's helping some, but hopefully enough. Who is... Commanding this battle. Him. Okay, this is looking much better. They've shifted a lot of forces out to deal with some of these other areas, and now we have a proper infantry division, and not just a airborne. You know, submarine crew berthing, I think that will be great out, I forget, we just, yeah. And short periled, right. I know I just did these. And that will allow stugs, so we'll do stugs. And they're attacking our forces here, well good for them.
Will you stop, you switch over to there, you keep going that way. You keep pushing this way. Hmm, oh, that's what I saw down here. We need to push on some of these attritional warfare and other things, I guess, just... Artillery max speed, that would be very useful, so we will do that first. I like speed. Oh, what are we still built? I thought we stopped that. Up here. Yes, we didn't. Mm -hmm. Giving us another slot. Very good. Okay, organization plus 1.1. 1 .1, that's good. Um, but I think we'll do assault concentration first. Artillery speed is very important. Oh, we have a battle up here. Oh, wow. Okay, um, probably this is partly the, my fault in that I have um, reset interception up over the Netherlands in our flying bomber operations. Yeah, I think it is my fault as much as anything else. Except expand the region out over the Netherlands. At least a little ways. Okay. Stop your operations after this. Stop your operations. Maybe we want you to go back and repair. And here. Barrel. No, they go home. Good. forward yes you too I think what make tank models do we have in the field well it varies um, you know I don't some of these aren't necessarily modeled well these are light tanks so they're considered Panzer twos um, we do have um, captured tanks. These are 38 Ts. Um, how accurately they modeled, I'm not entirely sure. Here we have medium tanks that are German that are Panzer threes. So yeah, we have various types depending on what are the division. Oh, we're seeing a bit more now that we have fighters actually operating over the territory, which may or may not be a good thing, but depends if they're winning their battles. Mm. 
they're attacking there, they're pushing there. These guys will keep coming up there and they push there. They're gonna come in and hopefully reinforce these guys in time. Make sure we have that highlighted, and you get on board ship. Okay, all of these guys, they kind of carry. Yeah, we'll transport. I think we're in good enough shape to do so, yeah. Hopefully he's sinking whatever. Oh, it looks like we've won the Battle of Oslo. Very good this time. And just studying the organization it means that the unit's 100% filled with listed models. Um, no, organization is um, is the green. The um, brown is the strength. So the um, so this has its strength that would be 100% of of this. So this unit here, the Panzer Regiment. Um, Panzer Group A Kleist, this this light Panzer unit here of units, its combat strength is a total of um, 199 or 1,999, I should say, um, men or whatever, and that it's fully up to the top means it's it's at full strength. It's not quite equipment like it is in Hearts of Iron 4. And this is, or the green is organizational levels, meaning the idea is, and though it doesn't, things get tweaked out, especially later on in Black Ice, but the idea is that a unit should normally, def, well, definitely on the offensive, should stop attacking before they lose all their manpower. So they should lose organization enough and then stop attacking. Defensive, mostly, not always, mostly they should lose their organization and start falling back before their unit is completely destroyed, um, though it's sometimes not likely. So um, organization is how is its fighting functionality, and it should, it should, again, especially with Black Ice, especially later in the game, with all these modifiers that can happen to to units, um, it, it, you can literally shatter units in the attack and that they lose all of their um, strength before they lose their organization. But really, they should lose their organization and then either stop attacking or um, if, they're, if they're on the defensive, start falling back. And if there's nowhere for them to retreat, that means they just surrender. So... Um, yeah, so yeah, so if it's brown or whatever and it's, you know, click here, we can see so these are these are 100% of their available organization and um strength. Now we can see it's yeah, 3 3997 as opposed to 4000. So yeah, it's nearly there and it's organization. Organization levels will vary by various not only the divisional commander which helps but um, higher level commands um, will improve its organization levels as well. Going that way, I guess.
he's getting some frontline command experience. Yeah, we lost four escorts here. We were bombing the submarines that took them out. I think one of the reasons they're doing all of this, well, let me just say this because I don't want them to go through the completely losing everything again. One of the reasons it's drawing these supply lines is out here so far, maybe because it sees that there's an enemy naval base here. Um, that could be a possible minor lo logical reason for it to do so. Okay, we've got Oslo now. And we can't capture their subs, which is, I would say, mostly historically correct. Okay, well, yeah, I could, could keep coming there. They're almost into that mix or whatever, sea province. Anyways, right, okay. He has a cavalry regiment, so he's a decent combat unit all on his own. We're going to send just one of these, just in case they land more troops, units, whatever, um, that way. Before we take that. Okay, good. That. Let's come up here and we can do more research. Let's snuff these guys out. And they're holding. Okay. Back over here. Let's do attritional warfare. Increase the organizational levels. Okay, these guys have gone as far as they were told to go. So let's keep pushing. Get my in for occupational work. Duties, whatever. Okay, looks like they're about ready to be falling back from here. See them putting a few more units into the front line. Okay. Now we need to separate you. You. You come here. Oh, we just lost this battle. Damn, how do we do you were Oh, I don't know. Conclusions after. Whatever. It does matter, but since I really don't have much of a choice on it. Don't pay too much attention. Okay, so we've got here and they are counterattacking. All right. Well, what we're going to do now is. Send some of these guys rapidly advancing. Rally behind them. There's Rommel, we'll come right through here. Well, we'll add you to that main grinding session. Maybe we've stopped 
their counterattacks. So we'll. Oh, we gotta find that infantry unit. So maybe it's up here. Fortress Buster, you come here. Well, there it is. Ah. Oh, Von Klein, you come this way. Yeah, you come down here to there. Okay. Um, yeah, but HQ shattered. That wasn't up here now. Okay. I don't know where that was. Oh, that was here. Their HQ shattered. Okay, well, that came back to there. Well, start heading back north. At least you're still in range. Still have command. Capabilities. Okay, you... We'll start pushing it that way. And you will push on these guys that way. With them pushing the flanks of some of these units. We'll relieve the attack. Okay. Navigational radar has advanced. I think I know we dealt with this once before. Radios and delay between attack. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Battle of Maastricht, we keep winning. They keep coming back in for more fun. Yeah, that's the biggest problem and I, I, I have with World in Flames is just that... Um, not that it doesn't have an AI. I, I know it doesn't have a stupid one because it doesn't have one. Um, but I do like playing on my own without having to try to find opponents. Let's loop around that way. Oh, my rack is it doesn't want to be as friendly as that. Play it solo on Vassal. All right. Okay, you push up this way.
go this way. We just come that way down. Oh no, not that. I like it like this. To come bright. Hey, Pop John, how you doing? I'm doing quite well. Thank you. Very interesting beam slam. Um, yeah, I was always fascinated with um, World in Flames as a kid. Never played it though. It's too expensive. You you know that in that days there was just you know board game. There was no um, computer version. Well, you can attack that way, I guess. You're almost there. You're coming up that way. Use it in combination with other games to play out battles with results and then incorporate it back into World and Flames. A bit tedious, but great immersion value. Yeah, that isn't a bad idea. I think you were talking about were you the one talking to Alvaro about um, war plan and the ability to edit save games because of that, I think, or something? I forget, but um, no, not that one. Uh, yeah, I guess that. Yeah, I don't know if he was quite amused with the idea, as things could be cheating with his game, as of course says how he sees it. But I get I get your idea of dropping into a better tactical simulation unit game. No, 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 you want to come here, up to here, to Rotterdam, I think. Circle around that path. It's not a bad idea for, you know, because you can go like with, with Warplay and go, hey, yeah, just let's, let's do the, you know, China game out regular but play out you know the battle of the solomon islands for yourself at a more tactical level and then incorporate the results into the main game yeah it does make sense to do it for at least key battles key operations it just be at least in my view too tedious to do the whole war that way you but do some of that kind of stuff Okay, they're pushing hard on us here with just about everything they can. Well, good for them, I guess. Come on, take these guys. Oh, we just about done it. Okay, dual purpose AAT guns, which gets 
More heart attack and more piercing for our basically black 88s. Um, yes, stop that. Okay, that now gets us a little more medium velocity guns. Yay, there we go. We want to do that, improve that. Improve our tank. Yeah, the Ritter DK unit. Yeah, we'll deploy that. Fang Lines unit, Fang I don't know how you pronounce his name. I guess, you know, it's sort of like the Rome Total War series, of course, has that sort of ability built into it. And the um, Field of Glory Empire series has that type of thing, though you have to jump much more awkwardly between two, um, two different games to get that to work. Mm. Yes. That's why we have. Well, let's just go through and find a check. Okay, we did the check artillery one. Another heavy artillery. Okay, they're already attacking. Good. They're going to move on the edge. But you guys, but Black Eye. Yeah, it's doing quite well. I like the detail levels of it. Okay, there look like they're retreating. So we're going to push on through there to Antwerp. Well, let's attack this garrison unit there. Okay, they've got some backup with the HQ with its cavalry. They're coming up you know, more elements. See, isn't it interesting? It's June 1940, and we have Romania, Hungary in the Axis, but we don't yet have Italy. How interesting. Uh, we have diploma, diplomats. Let's see. Diplomacy. Are we influencing them? No, we are influencing them in the Axis. Conclusions after victory, good, whatever. Okay, these guys finally did their thing, so let's push up with them. These guys can push into the empty province, okay. Um, Okay, they're about ready to get uh, shattered, so let's stop the attack. Soviet Union is annexing little countries. Wait, wonder how long it'll take Russia to do the same thing. Oh, good, we're winning here. Hey, Victory VT, how you doing today? Yeah, over the top. Um, any unreleased games you're looking forward to, gamer? Um, 
Well, Victory VT, there is Valor and Victory, which I was playing just yesterday that will be coming out. Um, all um, had a little bit of a bug with it, so um, uh, I'm probably not going to release that episode and play a new one. So it's a tactical level board game that's been translated into the computer you, that might be interesting to you. Um, so... Um, you know, I'm doing rather good. Um, so you'll see some of that coming out on um, my channel soon. That's unreleased. Um, now, a big one that's probably going to be 20, 2022, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they said it'll be earlier. But is, of course, the Stargate Timekeepers. That sounds really cool. Um, game from Slytherine. I'm a big I'm a big Stargate fan. Okay, you guys are doing well, so you start moving up that way. Yeah, you can go in and edit these games, um, save games. It just depends on how much you want to do of that. Yeah, I know. I'm really happy that they came out. And I gather, I guess it's Paramount is the um, movie studio or whatever that owns the Stargate IP. And they're the ones that contacted Slytherine, I gather, to make um, the game. Um, and which, okay. Here's gamer speculation, so unless you're watching this far into the episode, you won't know. And again, this is gamer speculation. Yes, I do know people at Slytherin, but no, they really don't tell me things. And I don't think... I don't think they would tell Slytherin this. But why would... And again, I think it's Paramount. I may have the studio wrong that owns the IP of Stargate. That they made some um, web-only shorts that really sucked I understand I think I watched part of one once um, but why would they approach Slytherin who you know has done the Battlestar Galactica deadlock game that's rather good I think that um, is rather well known that it's doing good um, you know it, it, it did good in sales I think and it's also a very good game that um, the studio would see uh, They've done, of course, or are doing Starship Troopers, which is another IP, and theirs is based more on the movie than the the books, though I think the books are influencing it too. Um, known for being doing that, and of course doing a lot of Warhammer 40K. Um, and so a movie studio contacts Slytherine to make a game. What does that tell you that the movie studio... Um, or why the movie studio is doing that could just be hey we want money you know and game means sell you know sell sell game means make money could be just that simple but here's my thought is there's there's either real plans oh you need to keep moving you were way down on the south when we started all this um Oh, you know, let's let's change this. Let's set up this this way. Thank you, loud aircraft or something. So, um, I think they the studio wants Slytherin to make a game, and because it takes quite a while to you know get a game made is to see if there's enough interest to doing another series to see how well the game sells to see if they want to invest in making another series or maybe even better news is they've already tentatively decided to make continuing doing um, stargate and thinking having a game out around the time that they're thinking about doing it um they would, um, you know, want the game out to support the um, 
coming up. Hello, Martech. Have you thought about playing Shadow Empire? Yes, I have. Um, Shadow Empire looks very good. I guess my biggest worry is, or my biggest concern, and I guess I could just make some episodes. So I'm not even sure if I have Shadow Empire. I know I can get a copy. Um, it's just how much interest there is on my on my my channel. Not interest out there in the world, but with the way YouTube works, I may make a video or you know a series on the, on a game, and um, somebody like DOS Tactic or whoever um, or XTRG. I think I get. I, I keep mixing up his his initials. Um, they may get hundreds or thousands of views, and I may just get less than, you know, I may get 80 views on it. And just because YouTube doesn't show off my videos. Most of my viewers are looking for historical based games. And when I do non-historical stuff, I like to do the, like to do it, but it just doesn't seem to get very many views. So, and the way YouTube sort of works, if my views go down on some videos, they stop recommending other videos that they you know, would maybe get more views. So, a few, you know, putting out a few few episodes, I'm always good with, even if it sort of hurts my channel metrics a little bit, just so that you guys can see other games, as well as people doing some searches will maybe find my channel. But trying to do a whole series on something, and then, you know, I that's why I'm just really reluctant on Shadow Empire, because it is not a historically-based game, and I don't know if my viewers really want to see it it's not because i think it's uh good or bad um i think the audience the people who like koi for and shadow empire yes they i'm sure they do but i get the urge to play when i see invite yeah absolutely more tech but see the idea is i don't even know if they would recommend because somewhere between 40 and 60 percent of views for my games there are my videos out there are from non-subscribed people so there's that and even when they're subscribed people it's not even they're well recommending the videos to those that have subscribed so and whenever um i put out a video and none of you click on it because it gets 80 views or 60 views instead of 260 views it really hurts the channel because oh one of gamers two videos today three quarters of it, of those people didn't click on it well they probably don't want to watch gamers videos so much anymore so let's recommend somebody else's to the next time they come in so it really and you're right there is an intersection but i have enough trouble trying to introduce other historical periods to what is largely a World War II based viewing channel. Um, and so it, it just comes sort of down to that, to sort of a, you know, YouTube thing more than anything else. And so that's main reason why I'm not doing it. And so, you know, and yeah, the algorithm and, and it's, it's really, it's weird because it's, it's both the idea of, you know, if, Every one of my subscribers uh, that's getting almost 5,000, thank all of you out there, clicked every day on every one of my videos and watched watched it for at least two minutes, all 5,000 people. Now, I know a lot of people have drifted away from the channel, but if you all did that, my channel would be growing exponentially because, say, half of this, you know, 2,000 plus of the subscribers will see in their recommended list a video of mine and not click on it because well they're a hearts of iron 4 player not a hearts of iron 3 so they don't care about my hearts of iron 3 games or they see uh an entirely different world war ii game but they don't even realize it's maybe even one of my games one of my videos um and they don't click on it YouTube stops recommending stuff to them. And so they have to then proactively, oh, I remember that gamer guy. Hasn't he made any videos in a while? And then they come and find out, oh, hey, I've been waiting for Hearts of Iron 4 because you hadn't played it for six months. And, you know, there's all this kind of stuff goes on. So that's all that kind of stuff goes into whether I do other games. So, you know, it's like I love Fantasy General 2. 
it gets almost no views on my channel. So I haven't even made any videos. I mean, they were kind enough to give me the um, latest DLC, which I've not played yet. But on, And I will maybe someday put a few videos of the latest DLC for Fantasy General 200. But most of my, you know, there is an overlap. Absolutely. The Venn diagram does of overlap but it's not that huge and or the algorithm and or other thing so it, just i have to pick and choose my um well yeah there's a lot of hoi for youtubers out there but so yeah got it okay what is regular thing phantom doctrine creators are making it i wonder if it it would turn out better or worse than phantom doctrine i don't know phantom doctrine quite honestly we're talking about the Stargate. My understanding is going to be um, more along the lines of like Commandos. Uh, I forget the, you know, um, I know I have the remastered of Commandos 2 or whatever. More of a, um, like that Partisans game. Um, more of a tactical, as opposed to like building factories and building ships and production stuff. I'm guessing, again, just from what one of the comments Marco made, um, I think it's going to be more of a of a tactical game than a strategy game. Hey, Lewis Cipher, how you doing? So, um, yeah, I am looking forward to that to Stargate. Um, that should be really good. I really, really have high hopes for it. At least I want to hype it because I want it to be good. Maybe it'll turn out to suck, but. Um, that's what I want to have happen with it. I know, um, I trust um, Slytherin to do things right, and including trying to pick a good developer, you know, studio to do something, um, but still things can go, go wrong. With isometric, somewhat similar to XCOM, it was about spies that were uncovering a big conspiracy. Okay. Um, yeah, that type of thing is my understanding. And there's supposedly a lot of time travel involved in timekeepers. I guess that's where they get the name for the idea on it. And we're losing so much up here, our national unity down at 98%. Not so much, but just because of the convoys we're losing because of this and things. So hopefully that'll get better once we get um, more ports secured. Look, because we're having supply up here. Okay, you can go on the offensive up to there. Um, though you can go on that offensive to there. Mm, I made the wrong choice, didn't I? <laughs> um, I should have sent Deedles Forest north because Deedles Forest has to come back around that way. Oh well. Never knew behind the scenes for YouTube content creators. I'll start doing that because I really want to encourage more depth. Yeah. Um, yeah, the more you click on and, you know, you know, percent of watch time does matter. Watch time mere actual watch time matters. So clicking on it for, say, 15 seconds and splitting. Um, now, maybe if you hit the like button, that really helps. Uh, but normally they would they would go 15 seconds and you're out. Oh, they don't want this content. Wrong content. Two minutes, and especially since the mine are like 40 minutes to an hour. Eh, not that great, but okay. But definitely click on it. And it also helps very much the first time you see that, um, you know, thumbnail and um, description pop up on it, to click that. Open a new window. You know, if you want to continue watching what you're seeing, and you sort of click it, open a new window, and you can even like turn the audio off on that one if you have enough bandwidth and, watch, and have it just sort of watch in the background. Um, but if you want to encourage either certain creators, of course, me and there's other, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, DOS Tactic is good, you know, you know uh, Hexaboo, uh, I know I'm going to XRTG, Richard of York, some of the other Slytherin guys are great. I'm trying to not go with, you know, big ones like... Um, uh, um, Quill 18 or somebody, obviously they're big enough, but um, some of us, you know, that are in the less than 10,000 subscriber type range, um, so there's some very good ones out there. And, and or search for particular games, 
click on those watch you know four or five minutes hit that like button it will encourage YouTube to serve up more of that content one to you but also to other people so that all um, all matters it, it really does and I know because I, I follow some um, one a tech youtuber um, follow several of them but just um, for various reasons one of them he does talk about some of the analysis that he does on um, some of the stuff and there was a bunch of he, he figured out that a bunch of the videos that they were making weren't getting a lot of views and that was affecting other videos that they were making that were getting a lot of views and so what he he has done this is Linus of um, Linus Tech Tips and if you're in, involved in all that I, I'm sure you know who he is um, so what he's done is broken out and have more channels and the stuff that he doesn't think is going to do so well but that there is an audience that is worth doing he's moved to secondary channels so those channels just may be hovering around that are just okay I mean now his, his we're talking about you know hundred or five hundred thousand a million subscriber smaller channels those are smaller for him but so he puts his his sort of iffy content on some of these other channels while keeping the sort of premiere content on his main channel so that that keeps within all the YouTube algorithm stuff. And so I, I try to pay attention to this stuff because I guess I'm a, a strategy player. So I'm strategizing YouTube in a in a small way, maybe, but still trying to do that kind of stuff. So definitely support the creators and or games you want to see more of. It matters. Let's see what he's doing. Eh, fair, maybe once these light if we get to they'll do better. Okay, um uh, we'll wait till reinforcements get there. Let's see what I want the ugly terrain mode. Okay, forest, that's fine. Let's pursue up through there with the horses. And now push into there. Tank destroyers advance. I don't think I currently have any tank destroyers, but still nice to have them advance. We will be having some, I'm absolutely sure of, in time. Well, let's look for 1940s or 1940, I should not say, technologies that we could use to better ourselves. Where are we getting poor supply? Oh, over here. Well, it'll catch up. Continue. Yes, move on to Amsterdam. You can attack that way. Just to tie up more units. You attack that way. You're coming that way. Good. Well, let's save this. We're going to be continuing live, but right now, those watching later on YouTube, we're going to be ending this episode here. We've gotten a bit further than the last crash, so yeah, we are pushing into Norway very successfully. And we've taken two of the three main um, victory points once we get the third out here, Bergen, 
We basically won there, and we are pushing moderately well into Algelb here of the Netherlands, pushing around through here, though. This has been a real bottleneck. We've got a lot of units here that need to break out and break through, but it, it's looking like it's very close to happening, and then we will explode out into France, hopefully. But that'll be next episode. Thanks so much, everyone. See you next time for even more Hearts of